Um, all right. Uh, so here's my fact. They've they've done multiple studies on this. They found that the state of arousal overrides the body's natural. But in America. Dis- no, 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 no. In around the world, yeah, Joking. around the state, world, state. and that the state uh-huh. of arousal overrides the body's natural disgust response, and that's totally a real term, and not one I've just made up. The state of arousal overrides the body's natural disgust response. Yeah. Wow. Because, because. Yeah, because uh, sex is disgusting. Disgust is and if quite you didn't, an, if, quite if, a if, arousal, if arousal didn't, yeah, if arousal didn't override disgust response, we wouldn't be able to have sex. Yeah. That's what they. That's what they found. I yeah. fully I believe love that. that. I love that fact, and it feels right. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that I haven't lied at all in this entire yeah, show. That, that I'm just going to go with the truth. The whole yeah, way. yeah. Um, you have that face that you tell the truth. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Um, yeah, no, I think the <laughs> arousal overrides the disgust. But it, what if you like... Like, would you lick someone's butthole if you weren't aroused? <laughs> no, Ryan's never considered licking someone's <laughs> butthole. <laughs> like, this is not... Like, Fair, you okay, you wouldn't do it if you're aroused either, but... No. Like, Ryan is like, what? People do this? This is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> is, that no, yeah, yeah. is that a fetish? Is that a fetish? So, yeah, I think mean, I'm trying to think of, like, say you're, you're in, you're in, the, you're, you're having a go, you know what I mean? And <laughs> you see, the British accent is just better for that. It's just and, better for and that. And then, say that she's like, I'm going to do something fucking crazy now. Uh, what about this? And then you're like, ugh. Well, yeah, as long well, as you're dis- properly aroused. Then your disgust might go, uh oh. Yeah, what, 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 and then dis- arousal will come down. Well, no. Oh, no, I'm so no, sorry, what, darling. What the but since you mentioned. What the study's saying is the opposite of that. What the study is saying is that you will go for it really? if you are aroused because your disgust response has been has been squashed. But if oh. you're not you're not aroused, oh, if you yeah. find it disgusting, it means you're not actually aroused. Oh. So you're not actually like into it. I fully yeah. believe it. Yeah. No, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> changing my mind. I'm gonna say no, no. That the disgust thing. Uh, you think is, dis- disgust will always, override? It's always a sort of. It's always at the door. Oh, you think disgust Excuse is the there all the time? It's at the back door. <laughs> Self-loathing and disgust is a part of sex, and that we just learn to accept it. Is that what you're saying? Um, I mean, it does make sense. It yes. does. It's there as a cautionary. Don't fuck that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it there. I wish. I wish that was a real cautionary thing. I wish that people like there was a real thing that was like. Don't fuck that thing. What are you doing warming up a watermelon and putting it in the microwave? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is so good. Don't fuck that thing. Don't fuck that thing. This is so much. It's too much. Yeah. Okay, so, you, so are, you, are you saying it's true or false? False. You're saying it's false. Yeah. I say it's true. We're just, I think it's okay. true. Okay. Yeah, so according to a study undertaken uh, in the Netherlands at the University of Groningen. Netherlands. Yeah, what, what they did in the University of, uh, of Groningen is they, <laughs> they had a woman watch a series of videos. So they made them watch a sports film, an erotic movie, oh. and a movie of just a train kind of running. And then they made them do slightly unsettling things like drink a cup of coffee with a bug in it. Mm. And they found that the women who had watched the erotic film and were aroused uh, were less disgusted, always marked oh, they were less wow. disgusted by the thing that they were doing. So it's actually true. Wow. Yeah. So I, I, I actually read that study as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's how wow. I, I sort of thought, knew about it. Not in that sense. I read a book about it. Okay. Um, where the guy mentioned the fact that, so anal sex, mm. the idea of it can be nasty. Like there's, there's poop involved. There's butts involved. There's a whole <laughs> lot of stuff involved that generally... You don't want to even think about. And he was speaking in, in like the gay sense. Mm. He was because he's a gay man. And he was saying that first of all, his first sexual partner was a guy that was very into feet, and his feet were literally like the hobbit's feet. <laughs> and he was like, if anyone wanted to put my feet in their mouth, you know that there is nothing going on. Like the only <laughs> thing that <laughs> okay. the only thing they're thinking about is sex at this point. Right. And and he was like, They're nasty, my feet are gross. And then he was like, if you think about it. Sex, well, when the human is aroused, everything switches off basically. Like the smells, the sounds, everything about it that is generally considered gross. Like if like the way that I've put it to people before is like, okay, you guys wouldn't know because I, I wouldn't know actually. I don't know. No, 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 no. You're you right. That's that's actually what the study says. You yeah. wouldn't drink a shot of semen. 
if someone handed it to you, but if you're giving someone a blowjob, you're most likely going to swallow. Like, that's generally what it is because you're aroused. You're like, I don't give a fuck. This is fun. But if you're not aroused, if you're just like at work. <laughs> somebody, shot Steven. Someone just comes in like, shot of semen. You're like, oh, no, thank you. Not today. Not today. I'm currently not today. Yeah. Ah, it's mm. very interesting because obviously the parts of the brain that are activated and the hormones that are bumped yeah. up. Yeah, oh, the yes. things that we're talking about quite specifically were like, you know, just the act of sex involves a lot of noises and and fartings and kind of like, you know like yeah stuff that normally in everyday society we're like oh well this is not right but during sex we're like yes this is fucking cool <laughs> 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 this is great yeah okay. this feels amazing we don't give a shit about all the other no. stuff yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. it's it's I mean sex is gross in general if you think about if you think about it logically mm. 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 there's bits going into bits that like are your naughty bits yeah yeah mm. the, so, the, 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 no, the boneless arm going inside the, the, yeah going inside the small hole uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 